Hello everyone and welcome. Today, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to change your hardware ID. This is a technical process, but I'll make it easy to understand and follow. Now let's get started. First, let's talk about what hardware IDs are. Hardware IDs are unique identifiers that Windows uses to recognize the hardware installed on your computer. These IDs assist with driver installation and system configurations. Changing them can sometimes help resolve hardware conflicts or other system-related issues. However, it's important to note that altering hardware IDs may violate the terms of use for some software or services, so proceed with caution. To begin, you need to access the Registry Editor. Click on the Start menu on your computer and type Registry Editor into the search bar. Once it appears in the search results, you'll need to run it with administrator privileges. Right-click on the registry editor and choose Run as Administrator. When the registry editor opens, you'll see a menu on the left-hand side. Look for HK underscore local underscore machine and click on it to expand the list. Next, scroll down and locate the software folder, then click on it to reveal its subfolders. Inside the software folder, find the folder named Microsoft. Expand it and scroll through until you see a folder labeled Cryptography. Click on this folder. Inside the Cryptography folder, you'll find an entry labeled Machine Guide. This machine guide represents your current hardware ID. If you want to change or reset it, this is where the process starts. To create a new hardware ID, you'll need a unique guide. Open your browser and search for GUID generator. The first result is typically reliable, but be sure to choose a trusted website. Click on the link to the generator tool. On the page, look for an option to generate a new guide or UID. Click the Generate button and the tool will create a unique identifier for you. Copy the newly generated guide to your clipboard. Now return to the registry editor and double click on Machine Guide a small window will open where you can edit the value. Delete the current value and paste the new guide that you just copied. Click OK to save your changes. Once this is done, your system will now have a new hardware ID. The final step is to restart your PC. After restarting, your computer will be operating with the new hardware ID.